For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shots. Never the man, she's as always. Today, though, I got something special for you guys. I'm going to show you guys a pass play uh, that you can find in just about any single playbook in Madden 22, and it's one of the glitchiest plays in the game. You can score against any single defense with the pass play. I'm going to show you guys today. I'm going to show you guys a whole bunch of steps like I always do. The formation itself is the Trey Y Flex. This is one of the most broken formations year after year. Uh, I'm in the Saints playbook, like I said. This should be in every single playbook in the game. The only playbooks that don't have this will probably have it in a different name formation, like the Trips. Y flex or the trio Y flex, something like that. There's always going to be this play. It just might be in a slightly different formation name. So make sure to look in your favorite playbook for different formations that have this particular play right here, which is the PA crossers. So I'll pick that. On the defensive side, we're going to start off with just random because there's a trick you can do with this play where you can run against just about anything and it's going to be a really good play. So let's just pick random nickel. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com. If you guys want to get your mutt team up and help to support the channel at the same time, all you have to do is check them out. Link in the description below below you discount code money to get 3% off what's guaranteed to always be the cheapest coins on the market. Now I'm showing this against random first so for the people out there that don't know how to read a defense and they just want a good play against any single defense this is going to be the play for you. You can run this play against any single defense and have a big play. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. All you have to do is put the A route on a streak and put the Y route on a drag and the Y route or the B route will get open every single time. So if you don't know how to read a defense this is a very easy way to run this play and have a lot of success. The last step that I would do is I would motion this guy across here, put him on a slant, he becomes another really good route. I typically like to motion snap him so he doesn't get jammed, but ultimately this is pretty much the play. And every single time you run this play, you're going to have success. That was a very good coverage, by the way. But you're going to see, he still gets open because I would typically want to have my best receiver there. But you can see, whether it's man or zone, this is going to be a very good setup. And like I said, I'll just put this guy on a motion slant just to give myself one route going in the opposite direction. But it doesn't really matter what play you run this against. That's the thing about this particular play. The A route here sometimes might be a good read too if it's a cover three like it is but you can see this route here is going to get to go against everything uh your slant check down and your drag check down to get open against everything this play right here is probably the number one reason that people run their uh flats to 25 and their hard flats to uh to zero and five because of a play like this and even if they do that like i said you still have your slant but you can see this is you know they're not saying their their adjustments they're not saying their zone drops that route's going to get open every single time so you definitely have a really good like i said i I have no idea what defense I'm looking at. It doesn't matter. I'm not reading a defense right now. Not like I will be in a moment here. I can run this play pretty much all game. Uh, and the user's probably going to be the biggest issue. Here we go with that slant. Like I said, if you get that slant uh, without, you know, letting him get set, a lot of times you're going to see how you can have a big play because he can't get jammed. So if it's a cover one, cover two, whatever, the cornerback can't get their hands on him. And that's a tip that I'm sure a lot of people know, especially pro players. But ultimately, there's a lot you can do with this play that I never really realized until this year. This has been a broken play for a very long time, but I never really realized that you can home run every single defense with this play. So we're going to start off with uh, cover two like we always do. We're going to pick Tampa two. Now, again, Against cover two and cover three, a lot of the times you're only going to hit a one-play touchdown with this if you run it from a hash mark. And the reason for that is because you can see how squashed up they are. So you want that squashed up look. All I'm going to do is put the B route on a streak, put the X route on a slant, and that's all I really have to do. I find it's best to motion this guy in and put him on a pass block, though. That's probably going to be the best way to go to pull that safety down. Now, he's lit up. It's not going to matter, though. Typically, I'm going to roll outside the pocket, and you can see he just plays that slant which isn't really ideal, uh, but that's the first guy that comes into his area, so pulls that safety down. We'll run that one more time from here, and then we'll try to run from the open side of the field if we can. Uh, I don't think you really have to put Andrews, motion Andrews in either. I find it's best, but you can leave him out here. You don't have to give that tell if you want to basically run it like this. You can leave him on that on that route, and he doesn't really pull that safety back uh, the way that you would expect. And you can see once again, we're just getting a, a play over the top. Now, if I had Hollywood Brown there, it would have been a lot easier, but you can see you can still have success with this play without making any real uh, movement adjustments. So let's go ahead and let's move it to the other side of the field. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to try to run it like this. I'm going to do the full setup. And you can see now we're running it from the uh, from the hash mark to the short or to the to the wide side, or at least we're not getting that same uh, type of I don't know squished up formation. You can see we still have success. So you really have to run it from a hash mark. I think that's really uh, the key to success on this play. Now that'll have the same success against cover two man. So let's go. Let's pick that now against man cover two is a completely different setup. All I'm going to do now is put the Y route 
on a streak. And this is gonna be uh, pretty much the exact same thing. I'm gonna actually run out of run out here, which I didn't really wanna do. And now you can see we're just splitting those safeties with Watkins. So this play here, I probably need even more space to make this play happen. So another play, it's gonna be beneficial to run from a hash market. It's another play where it's gonna be beneficial to motion this guy in and put him on a pass block. You can also put him on a drag though, if you wanna check down. So I'm gonna put that Y route on a streak or a fade. I find the fade uh, sometimes is better. And now I have a, a check down to go along with uh, what I'm trying to do. So but that's ultimately not going to matter because I'm going for this home run. You can see Sammy Watkins is not the fastest guy, but he's fast enough to split uh, the cover two safeties for one play touchdown every single time. So that's both cover two. Let's go and let's move on to, we'll do man coverage before we go to cover three. Against cover one man, you really don't need any adjustments, but I'll do the exact same setup uh, that I was doing previously, where I basically put this guy on a slant. I give myself a drag, check down, all this stuff. It doesn't really matter because ultimately the B route is going to toast just about any single uh, you know man cover defender uh, out there, which is another reason reason why I'm happy to have Marcus Brown on that spot. So not a lot to really know about that particular uh, play, but ultimately, I mean, pretty much every route here is going to be a big play. I mean, you could run it the cover two way that I was just showing, uh, where you basically give yourself a drag check down. Uh, the, you know, the X route can have a lot of success, uh, but ultimately against man, this, this deep cross is just going to destroy that. So now cover three is probably the most unique. So let's go and let's pick this again and we're going to go with cover three. Against cover three, the only thing you really got to do is motion this tight end out. This is the only time I'm really going to be doing this. Then I'm going to put the B route on a streak or a fade. It doesn't really matter. And you're pretty much going to see we're going to have the exact same results. This one here I find takes a little bit of time, but you can see the separation is pretty ridiculous as the cornerback really reacts to that short speed out route that the tight end's doing. This one's kind of ridiculous. If you see, you know, a lot of cover threes, these cornerbacks don't react like this. They don't stay down. They don't stay home like this, where they basically just leave. Look at all the separation. Look how much separation there is between this guy and the safety in the center of the field. That's a good 20 to 30 yard separation. Like I said, since the last patch, this isn't something that you see a lot of. So the fact that that does that is huge. And then you can see, I mean, once again, this streak is really just to keep that safety at home. And then this guy here, once he crosses, I mean, it's pretty much, I could throw it at any point in time. I actually threw it kind of late. I mean, look at look how much space he has to get to that spot before this cornerback or this safety reacts. Now, if I have my fastest receiver at the Y route, I, I'm pretty sure I don't even have to motion out Andrews. But since I don't have that, and this is a much better way to do it, we're gonna isolate this cornerback because this is definitely, this makes it a guarantee where otherwise it's not really a guarantee. So here we go once again, like I said, we don't have to wait till he gets cross and put that ball up in the air to a position where the cornerback can catch him. We can just do a catch and run and have a lot of success. Next up, we're gonna do cover four. We only got two defenses left. We'll start off with cover four quarters and then we'll do cover four uh, drop. Now, cover for quarters is the easiest one. You don't have to do anything. The B route here just gets past everything. I mean, this is just a really what? good cover four play. I don't know even know what to say. I mean, that's something. If somebody's still running cover four, cover four is definitely not as good as it was in years past. But you can see I don't have to make any adjustments. I just run this play as is. The B route just gets lost in uh, translation when it comes to these guys out here. Although they're the safety did a pretty good job. Uh, but it was still open. And then last but not least, cover four drop, which is going to be a completely different receiver. One more time. Let's go and let's pick that. So another play, we got to motion out this tight end, and we're just going to put the B route here on a fade this time. So another, once again, another uh, different receiver on this particular play. You can see here the Y route this time is the guy that gets over the top of the cover four cornerback because once again, just like the cover three, that short speed out route is holding him down. Let's go, let's go to the replay real quick. Like I said, this speed out route's really the MVP of this play a lot of times. As you can see, him being isolated where this guy is. Once again, these cover four corners don't typically sit on these routes but you can see he sits down to a point where he basically just lets this crossing route get behind him which it's not a huge uh lane but like i said it's a cover for one play touchdown who's going to complain and if i had my fastest receiver here once again it would be an even easier play this play might be even better to run to the short side of the field though so let's go and let's do that i'm not going to say that it's better necessarily but it's uh it's just a quicker route for the uh, the y route to run so he'll get across the field quicker I guess is a more appropriate way to say it. And then you can see here, it has the exact same success. As you can see, it still gets over the top of that cornerback. So like I said, this play here, you can find it in just about every single play in the game, and you can home run every single defense in the game, which to me is just a flat out win-win. So next up, we got a really good cover two play, which is a shock H option. Let's go and let's pick that on defense. Like I said, we can start off with cover two, which is just do Tampa two here. This is a play, uh, I just want to motion this guy across, put him on a slant again, and then we'll put the B route here on a streak. This is just a really good, I mean, I think it's the slant right but this is just a really good play to the y route once he gets past that cornerback uh, if i run it from the hash mark to the open side of the field i can probably get some catch and run one play touchdowns here so this is a play like i said just streak the b route 
Motion this guy across. Put him on a slant or a drag. It really doesn't matter. I mean, the tight end can be that drag also. The running back's on a pretty cool route, but ultimately this is just all about the depth of this guy here. And if I can catch that ball in bounds, I really think I could have a catch and run touchdown, but I'm not quite getting it because this thing does really go to the sideline. I mean, there's no, there's no way around that. It's a sideline throw. If I had a route that was maybe pulling that guy down a little bit quicker, um, I'm trying to pass lead it up because like I said, it's definitely there but I'm just not getting the throw. But like I said, work on that throw. You can definitely have a lot of big plays, especially against cover two. Really good against cover two man as well. So let's go and let's pick that. Same setup, although here, I mean, I don't have to, you know, I can just put this guy in a drag. But ultimately, the Y route gets around the zone chuck a lot of times. Well, not the zone chuck, but rather the, uh, the, the you know, whatever the man press is. Uh, it works really well against cover two. And it's really pretty much the exact same thing. I like to motion this guy across just because it matches a lot of the other plays and it also gets him out of the way. I don't want him running into to my receiver so once this wire route gets out around like i said it's a lot of times you want to lob it there i was under pressure a little bit so i didn't quite get the throw but a lob or a bullet pass can be sufficient just as long as you make sure that you have space so here we go one more time like i said we'll just you know it's best to let not let that guy get set one more time and then like i said once he gets outside of that just a little bit of acceleration he's up to the sideline for a very big play so it's not a one play touchdown but it's a very big play now it has a really good run play in here in the uh the halfback inside zone uh, this is something you're pretty much just going to want to run if your opponent uh, isn't respecting the run. I mean, it's a really simple run. Any point in time where, um, you know, you have a spread defensive look or this linebacker that's over the center here is out in front of the wide receiver pre-snap, like in a man coverage look, it's just going to be a really easy uh, way to steal this play. And then that receiver does a really good job of sealing that linebacker too, uh, which it doesn't look like it's going to happen pre-snap, but it does. So like I said, if it's a man coverage especially, it's going to be a good play. There, I had to take it outside around a little bit because the blocking didn't open up in the center. It's typically the inside hole will be there. Uh, as you can see, I mean, there's just, you know, the, the guard a lot of times will, will seal that block. I mean, this run play, it's just a very simple bread and butter run play, but it's really important to have in your audibles at all times. Then the next play is going to be the levels wide corner. Now, this is another play a lot of people should know. I'm going to pick that. I'm going to go against random on defense. This play, once again, we're going to do the exact same motion. I'm going to give myself that slanting check down. Although, if it's a zone coverage, which obviously this, this cornerback um, didn't follow all the way, if, it's, if I think it's going to be a zone, I can just basically put him on a streak, let him get set, and that will help the, uh, the A route get open. Uh, so that's really something you have to read. There, he didn't catch the ball, though. But man or zone, uh, this can have a lot of usefulness. So we're going to make that same motion. Like I said, if the cornerback falls all the way back, it's typically going to be a man coverage. Here it looks like a zone once again so like i said i can use the zone but this is really all about the running back the running back here it's just an easy catch and run against any zone coverage pretty much other than hard flats and it's going to get outside if you have a speed advantage it'll get outside of a lot of running backs as well so or a lot of uh, man coverage as well i should say so like i said we'll do that one more time like i said if it's a man if i if i notice a man coverage i'll just put him on a if he doesn't, you know, the cornerback doesn't follow, then I'm just going to give myself that uh, that zone look, pull everything back, and like I said, we got a really easy play underneath. So we're going to do that one more time. Like I said, I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm torn. I feel like it's best if it's a zone coverage to let this guy get set, let the X route get set, because ultimately he'll do a better job of pulling back coverage uh, for this particular receiver here, for the tight end crossing. So that's the really only difference when you're doing this play compared to the other plays. Uh, where you typically didn't want to get set, you typically wanted to get that motion snap so you didn't get jammed. Here it's a completely different thing. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see, like I said, a full breakdown of this offense, I'm sure a lot of people use this offense pretty routinely anyway. Uh, if you want to see my personal take on it, hit the like button, let me know in the comments section. I'll make sure to put that out uh, at a later date. It's already going to be on my page, it's already going to be on my Join Our Community tab and in my ebooks. So check those out, link in the description below. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.